三号呀，我就是三号，我说了，但是没有声音哎。So I just put this in my pocket. Okay. What the? Yes. Yes. Uh, Hello. Okay. 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 Off. Off. Off.
。易空联盟官方客户端使用说明。首先，可以从易空联盟 One 公众号或者易空联盟任意推广短视频中找到下载二维码，扫描二维码进入下载页面。下载完成后，打开 APP 注册账号。账号注册非常简单，只需打开 YKLM Option APP， 点击首页右下角图标，点击登录，进入登录页面下方，注册填写姓名和邮箱即可。你也可以用 Facebook 和 Gmail 邮箱授权注册。注册完成，你已经可以在首页开始浏览拍品，并参与竞拍。点击进入拍卖活动页面，点击拍品，点击 Play Speed 参与竞拍或 Buy Now 直接购买。可以在购物车查看您的拍品，填写您的相关信息之后，进入支付页面。您可以绑定信用卡或者用 PayPal 直接支付。下单成功之后，会有邮件通知。竞拍流程简单快速。Good evening, everyone. My name is Patrick from YKLM TV, and my name is Eva. And thank you for joining us for our live cast tonight. We will be hosting Pepe Hidalgo's and Gorgian's live Q and A, all about the most recent collaborative exhibition, "The Origins of Our Souls: Conversation Between Artists Pepe Hidalgo and Gorgian." It has been amazing to host such an outstanding exhibition at the Lipan Gallery and the YKLM Auctions. This collaborative exhibition between Pepe and Goyen was the perfect blend of techniques and imagery. Though the exhibition will end in two days, worry not, you can still purchase their artworks during our live stream tonight on the YKLM Auctions app. So first, let me introduce you to our YKLM app. So first of all, you need to scan the QR code on the screen and download our amazing app. Then sign up your account and log in. And then we have a variety of exhibitions showing on the front page. You can choose whichever that interests you the most. Let's take Goya and the Pepe's exhibition, "The Origins of Souls: The Conversation Between Goya and Pepe," as an example. Once you enter the exhibition page, you can start to enjoy shopping now. Choose your artworks, such as um, such as this one. Okay, we will choose another one, such as this one. And as for tonight, we only offer the buy now price, as you can see at the green button down there. And so you will see the buy price, buy now price. Then click the buy now button, add to cart. After you done shopping, click the shopping cart on the top right. Before you proceed to payment, you need to fill out some information, such as your name and your contact information, and etc. Click continue to shipping. We strongly encourage you to choose to pick up at the Pong Gallery. 
click continue to payment, fill out all the payment information, then click place my order. Now you are all set. That's right. Download the app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, or scan the QR code below. And tonight only for any buyers making a purchase of over $2,000, Adi Skoyen will gift her own custom silk scarf, and Pepe will gift one of his 10 one-of-a-kind artworks. What an amazing deal. And remember, you can buy their artworks on the YKN Auction app. And be sure to leave a question in the comments below for either Goyen and Pepe for the Q&A section. Or even both. All right. Now, let's take a quick look at all the works that have already been sold. Wow, I can't believe that many artworks have already been sold. Yeah, especially, you know, the, the sm small paintings of their collaborative works, we almost, uh, they are almost like, sold out. Yeah, they are it, so popular. It's such a good deal too. They're only like $500, yeah. $400 uh, each of them. Mm -hmm. And especially uh, the big collaborative works as well have yeah. been sold. Like the Ruta Arataba and the, and the uh, yeah, communication Palmas era, Island, Palmas yeah. Islands. And those were some of the most expensive works as well. So yeah. I think this is... It, shows, it tells you a lot about how great of a pairing Pepe and Goyen are. Yeah, and the the gifts, the small drawings and the scarves, they're just as amazing as it works. Yeah, yeah. I think the scarves are really beautiful. Yeah. And I, honestly, I, I was looking at the, the drawings mm -hmm. and the number three is my favorite by far. The, yeah. the creepy old oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's, it's very yeah. uh, Pepe-like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It has his style. It has his yeah. style a lot. Well, now let's see what Pepe and Goyen have to say about this exhibition. I can't wait. Please, Pepe, speak Chinese. Yeah, and you, <laughs> please, speak Spanish. I don't know Spanish. I don't know Chinese. <laughs> it's okay, but the collaboration is very good. Difficult, because I English a little, Spanish, a little, very a little. <laughs> entre México y China que se celebró en esta galería ahí nos conocimos y ante la dificultad de poder hablar en, en inglés o en chino o en español 
decidimos hacerlo a través de nuestro medio de comunicación, que en este caso es la pintura. De esta forma establecimos como un diálogo a través de estos cuadros pequeños, que en realidad lo que ha hecho ha sido dar origen a toda esta exposición, donde hay cuadros que están relacionados con nuestro diálogo y otra serie de cuadros que estarían relacionados, digamos, con nuestro trabajo individual o de, de taller, ¿no? Y bueno, pues a lo largo de un año, pues en realidad lo que hemos ido ha sido ir, nos hemos ido conociendo más bien pictóricamente que personalmente. Hay la posibilidad de poder traducirlo al idioma, pero en realidad, digamos, nos hemos quedado más en este diálogo pictórico que en un diálogo personal o en un diálogo dialéctico a través del idioma. Por supuesto, como en el idioma también se producen confusiones, lo mismo ha podido ocurrir en, en nuestro diálogo pictórico. Y un poco esto sería la muestra de ello. Este cuadro, en realidad, llegó un momento en el que yo pensaba que no había comunicación, no estábamos muy bien conectados y por eso lo he titulado fuera de cobertura o sin señal. Y bueno, pues, pero la colaboración, digamos, a lo largo de todo el proceso ha sido muy gratificante, creo que para mí y imagino que para ella también. Ella podrá decirlo. Gracias. Finish. You speak. Ok. 我是去年十一月一日在温哥华立邦美术馆的一个联展上认识培培的，呃，认识到二十多天以后呢，培培就到我工作室和他夫人一起来拜访我，然后就对我说，哎，我们能不能一起来合作，做一个艺术项目，我
，呃，立邦美术馆通过我这次的合作呢，我觉得他们，呃，是一个非常专业的一个团队，从策划布展到后期的推广，嗯、呃，这个我觉得都是非常棒的，包括拍摄，包括呃后期的推广都非常，我我我我我对他们特别感激。呃，我也知道立邦美术馆呢，它在中国的西安也有一个分馆，很多年前就在做这个艺术展览。OK， 我这说完了 ，Please <笑>。Con respecto a por qué hemos elegido esta galería, bueno, en un principio teníamos el contacto con Tony, ella está más relacionada con Tony, que es quien lleva un poco la galería. Es una galería bastante amplia que daba, podía dar cobijo a la cantidad de cuadros que estamos exponiendo y fundamentalmente, pues esta es una de las razones、eh, por las cuales elegimos esta galería y no solo eso, sino que además muy, fue muy bien recibida la, la propuesta que teníamos para, para hacer la exposición, ¿no? Eh, que es el diálogo, el diálogo entre artistas a través de estos pequeños cuadros, ¿no? Más colaboraciones.、Ah. Okay. <risa> eh, con respecto a la pregunta de si vamos a seguir colaborando, imagino que no hay ninguna dificultad en seguir realizándolo. Ahora bien, es algo que posiblemente tengamos que ponernos de acuerdo. Quizás yo tenga que empezar a aprender un poco de mandarín y ella a lo mejor un poco de español para poder concretar un poco mejor todas las cuestiones o seguir en esta dinámica de que sea realmente la pintura la que establezca el lenguaje entre ambos. ¿no? A mí me parece, digamos, estupendo porque funciona fundamentalmente a través de imágenes. La imagen es importante y creo que para mí es una forma de lenguaje. Por supuesto que estoy dispuesto a seguir realizando obras en común y a seguir mandando unos test、eh, telefónicos de artísticos, por llamarlo de alguna forma. Anju.、Ah, okay. Ah, actually, two people to work together is very difficult. To have two sides. 对文化的理解，呃，对这个，这个双双方的性格、工作方式、工作的时间，嗯、呃，我们每次合作的时候会有十多个主题，然后我们俩相互讨论，双方都感兴趣的主题才会达成共识。那接下来我们还是会合作，我们前一段时间刚刚讨论过，我我们还会在呃温哥华的极空间继续做一个呃。类似于我们合作的作品的一个展览，时间呢要根据我们会在，我看我们的工作完成的进展情况而定。嗯。Yes <笑>。我喜欢那个。Yeah. I like that ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I like the ending as well.、Yeah. Like you can, we can see from the video, like the communication、uh, issues、yeah. they had already. Yeah, just is... like they keep saying that how difficult for them to talk, to communicate with each other because they don't know the language that the other one speaks. Yeah. yeah, you can see it from the video, but like you can see that we also have a very good relationship, as you can see it, and like. Yeah. And、it's very interesting, yeah. Yeah, that actually shows how the the power of art. Like, although you don't know the language of each other, and you probably don't know the the culture that much, but through art, you can still communicate. Yeah, yeah still understand each other. Yeah, I think that, that I think that's why they called it the oranges of our souls because the、yeah. paintings speak e- even more truly than words. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, that was very insightful. It's always fascinating delving into the thoughts of an artist. I agree, and don't forget, everyone, to be sure to leave any questions you may have for Pepe and Gui in the comments below. The live Q and A is coming up very soon. All right, now let's take a deeper look at some of the artworks from this exhibition. Estamos ante el cuadro mi vecina Matilda. En realidad, en casa lo llamamos el loco, la loca. pero en sentido muy cariñoso puesto que he tratado con afabilidad hacia aquello que es diferente todos a lo largo de nuestra vida 
somos capaces de soltar nuestra imaginación o deja, dejarnos llevar, pero para muchos eh, esto significa pues, tratarlo de enfermo, de loco o de diferente. ¿no? Para mí, sin embargo, es una apreciación de aceptar lo que es diferente e intentar manifestarlo a través de este cuadro como algo normal y corriente. Más bien pienso que lo que hacemos es todo lo que no nos gusta, nosotros mismos lo reflejamos en el otro, ¿no? Y en este caso siempre hay un vecino en el cual, o otra persona cercana, en la cual poder reflejar lo que no nos gusta de nosotros mismos, ¿no? Este es el rechazo que se suele tener hacia alguien que te manifiesta a eso. Es lo que se suele decir que hay gente que funciona como espejo y hasta que no aceptamos esta versión diferente de manifestar la vida, pues no estamos aceptándonos del todo a nosotros mismos. Es un poco lo que intento con este cuadro. Estamos ante el cuadro del rapto de la inocencia. Eh, este tipo de cuadros son cuadros difíciles para representar, tanto imagino que para mí como para cualquier artista, porque en definitiva es, es casi puro sentimiento. ¿no? El rapto de la inocencia, eh, a pesar de que muchos puedan pensar que tiene una connotación sexual de cuando el, la mujer o el hombre dejan de ser vírgenes para pasar a ser hombre y mujer, desarrollarse sexualmente, para mí no, nada tiene que ver, es, está más bien relacionado con ese sentido que... Yeah, so which one is your favorite? To be honest, my favorite is uh, My Neighbor Matilda. Mm -hmm. I think it just has just such a unique... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Well, I'll just restart that. <laughs> I, I think it's always, it's always interesting and very mm -hmm. fascinating listening to artists talk about yeah. their own artworks. Mm -hmm. You learn so much from them. Yeah, so which one is your favorite? <laughs> well, my favorite, if you can guess, is My Neighbor Matilda. Uh -huh. I think it has such a unique look and feel to it. Yeah. And especially the way um, Pepe talked about how it's a way to expose your, your true negative thoughts about yourself and to, mm -hmm. uh, to have a more f real freedom. Yeah, it's like every audience, when they see that painting, they always have that kind of love. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and my favorite is actually the boundary of nature, number 59. You know, the one with a very unique round shape and uh, wide background with... Um, Oh, the, 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 the red the, people, the, the, the red, red people. people, yeah, they all come kind of like down to one point. Yeah. So the color, the contrast, is very powerful, like visually, and also it all gives you kind of, um, I don't know, it kind of moved you when you saw it. I, I, I think that's a, a thing with a lot of Goyan's works mm -hmm. is that you can see, like, is they're very simple in yeah. in design and in, in execution, mm -hmm. but the amount of imagery and details that yeah. you actually see it once you delve even closer into it is, yeah. is always mind-blowing which is well, i think that i think that's why goyan is such a very famous artist yeah that's true and that was a journey yeah agreed all right well before we start the q a which will be starting very soon mm -hmm. uh we have here the 10 artworks that pepe has drawn so these are his drawings mm -hmm. that he has let's and some of them let's see if go through some of them yeah so you can have the um, actual look of the small drawings so if you purchase any artworks over $2,000, you'll mm -hmm. be gifted one of these of your choice, mm -hmm. first come, first serve, and one of Goryan silk scarves. 
Yeah, and I believe this is your favorite one. This is my. I, I I love the creep. I love the creepy, <laughs> very unique characters kind of that Pepe has. Yeah. yeah, they're they're sad, but they have so much different feelings. Like that. I, I yeah, well. and my favorite is this one because I love his. Uh, you know, oh, fake smile! It's his kind fake of like smile. A, modern times, everyone is uh, making a fake smile. Yeah, it's kind of a. I go with them. <laughs> I go with them. Well, if you want to purchase any of the artworks that we have shown mm -hmm. today, uh, please download the app, and we will be right back with the Q and A. So stay right there, and we will be back. Okay. <laughs> Shenlin奇境,一锤定音。一空联盟APP,让拍卖成就美好生活。Shenlin奇境,一锤定音。一空联盟APP,让拍卖成就美好生活。身临其境,一锤定音。一空联盟APP,让拍卖成就美好生活。身临其境,一锤定音。一空联盟APP,让拍卖成就美好生活。Q&A section now. All right. Thank you for joining us. We have artist Goyen in person here with mm -hmm. her translator and our host, Yvonne. All right. For the first question for Goyen, um, after collaborating with Pepe, would you be open to collaborating with any other artist? Uh, 有观众想问你呢 Oh, how? Mm. So what Goyen was saying is like um, uh, after her collaborative exhibition with uh, Pepe, they are going to continue have, an, the, have their exhibition at the Ji Kongjian. But she have, uh, haven't really thought about uh, collaborating with other artists yet. So it's like still depends on the situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our next question. Uh. Next question is, what drew you to Pepe's artworks? What drew uh, Goyen to Pepe's artworks? Oh, just那个Pepe的作品是什么地方吸引到您了呢? 这个这一点吸引了我。我当时，我觉得我们两个是风格完全是迥异的，但是我发现我们俩都共同对美术史上的人物或者美术史上的经典作品有兴趣，所以我呃我们那天那一次认识以后，我们还会继续的合作。so it's like Goyen met Pepe at an exhibition that um, Lipan Gallery did last year, and she was immediately drawn to one of Pepe's work uh, at that exhibition. And she found that Pepe's work um, is very um, has its own unique style. So that makes her, and also they are both interested in the um, images that very famous in the art history. So although she thinks that they have very different, very, very different art styles, but this can be their, their common interest in the art history, be the connection that um, lead to this collaborative exhibition. Thank you for the answers. Mm -hmm. And the last question is actually from YouTube. Mm -hmm. And they're asking, Goyen, are you planning to have an, uh, of having an exhibition in China anytime soon? 
，呃，近期会有在中国举行任何展览吗？哦，我在中国的展览一直都有，嗯嗯，有各种各样的联展，但是近期个展是没有，个展只是在这里，下一个个展也会是在温哥华。嗯、本来我们这场展览是计划是。呃，一起到回回回中国和西班牙去做个巡展、嗯，但是因为这个场疫情改变了很多计划，嗯，嗯下一步可能还是在这边做展览。嗯 ，OK。So Guoyan says she always have an exhibition going in China, but um, 啊，你们说因为疫情改变了这一场计划。So, but uh, she's gonna have her exhibitions in Vancouver as well, but it's still the Her collaborative exhibition with Pepe.、Um, they actually plan about the traveling exhibition back to China, but、uh, because of the、uh, pandemic thing, so it's、um, unfortunately cancelled. Yes. Have any questions? Any question now? All right, we have a bonus question because、mm-hmm. uh, there's so many questions we have、uh, on YouTube for Guo Yan.、Mm-hmm. This one is.、Uh, Oh, yeah, she's asking.、Uh, since you were talking about a traveling exhibition,、mm-hmm. do you plan on having this exhibition go to China? Oh, yeah, she actually answered that question. Yeah, because she said, "Oh, you mean after the pandemic?" Or okay, so he, audience, has asked, "Is that after the pandemic, will this exhibition go to China?" Yes, I think it will. Now, because of the pandemic, some organizations have been in touch with us. Yes, they are still inviting us. Yes, I think it will. 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 So Guoyan says definitely because、um, she already have some invitations and some organizations contact her about the、uh, the traveling exhibition of their collaborative exhibition back to China. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Pepe. And、uh, <laughs> thanks so much, Guoyan <laughs> and、so、Ivan.、Uh, we'll be right back with Pepe、uh, after these short messages.、Yeah. Thank you. Finish. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>身临其境，一锤定音。以空联盟APP，让拍卖成就美好生活。身临其境，一锤定音。以空联盟APP，让拍卖成就美好生活。易空联盟官方客户端使用说明：首先可以从易空联盟 One 公众号或者易空联盟任意推广短视频中找到下载二维码，扫描二维码进入下载页面。下载完成后，打开 APP 注册账号。账号注册非常简单，只需打开 YKLM Option APP， 点击首页右下角图标，点击登录，进入登录页面下方，注册填写姓名和邮箱即可。您也可以用 Facebook 和 Gmail 邮箱授权注册。注册完成，您已经。浏览拍品，并点击进入拍卖活动页面，点击拍品，点击 Play Speed 参与竞拍或 Buy Now 直接购买。可以在购物车查看您的拍品，填写您的相关信息之后，进入支付页面。您可以绑定信用卡或者用 PayPal 直接支付。下单成功之后，会有邮件通知。竞拍流程简单快速。易空联盟 One 公众号或者易空联盟任意推广短视频中找到下载二维码，扫描二维码进入下载页面。下载完成后，打开 APP 注册账号。账号注册非常简单，只需打开 YKLM Option APP， 点击首页右下角图标，点击登录，进入登录页面下方，注册填写姓名和邮箱即可。您也可以用 Facebook 和 Gmail 邮箱授权注册。
。注册完成，你已经可以在首页开始浏览拍品，并参与进来。点击进入拍卖活动页面，点击拍品，点击拍品，参与竞拍，点拍拥有的品牌，可以在购物车查看您的拍品。填写您的相关信息之后，进入支付页面，点击绑定信用卡或者用支付的指定支付。下单成功之后，会有邮件通知。竞拍流程简单快速。易空联盟官方客户端使用说明：首先可以从易空联盟 VAN 公众号或者易空联盟任意推广短视频中找到下载二维码，扫描二维码进入下载页面。下载完成后，打开 APP 注册账号。账号注册非常简单，只需打开 YKLM Option APP， 点击首页右下角图标，点击登录，进入登录页面下方，注册填写姓名和邮箱即可。您也可以用 Facebook 和 Gmail 邮箱授权注册。注册完成，你已经可以在首页开始浏览拍品并参与竞拍。点击进入拍卖活动页面，点击拍品，点击 Play Speed 参与竞拍或 Buy Now 直接购买。可以在购物车查看您的拍品。填写您的相关信息之后，进入支付页面。您可以绑定信用卡或者用 PayPal 直接支付。下单成功之后会有邮件通知。竞拍流程简单快速。Vamos, vamos. No, sí. Bueno, okay. okay. Finalmente. Uh, all right. Game. Stream. Hola, ¿cómo? Record. Hola, ¿qué más? Okay. Venga. 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 Déjame explayarme. <laughs> Fue una vez. All right, everyone. Sorry about the second technical difficulty. Twice, uh, twi twice is uh, the lucky number as well. All right. So let's go back to the f first question again. I apologize. Uh, the question is, what is the meaning of all the bubbles and circles in your paintings, Mr. Hidalgo? ¿Qué significa las burbujas de los círculos en tus cuadros? Eh, es algo que viene de, de antiguo. Cuando empecé a pintar, el, intenté pintar el universo, entonces lo que hacía era tiraba pintura sobre el cuadro. Ok, so it's something that comes from time ago when he tried to paint the universe. He would um, splatter paint on the canvas. Entonces, durante ese proceso me di cuenta de que en realidad todo el cosmo está hecho de átomos. So he realized that all the, the cosmos, the universe is made of atoms. 
y he continuado pintando de esa forma, tirando, arrojando puntos, aunque and ya no pintaba el universo. So he continued with this process of splattering the paint on the canvas to have the dots or the points or the bubbles, and even though he didn't continue to paint the universe. Puesto que eso me daba una cromacidad, una cantidad de colores increíbles que podía modificar en la medida en que yo metía las figuras. So this allowed him to have um, incredible colors and a variety of colors on his canvas, and then he would incorporate the figures into the bubbles. Y a la vez esas figuras es como que empezaban a pertenecer también al cosmos. And then at the same time, the figures that he created also became part of the cosmic of the universe. Es un poco la razón. That's his reason. Thank you so much. That's a very interesting reason. And the second question is, your portraits have an incredibly unique style, which I personally love as well. So what has inspired that style? Tus cuadros tienen un estilo muy único y que tiene inspirado este estilo. Quizás un poco es lo que he comentado antes sobre la pintura cósmica, pero a la vez también la cromacidad la consigo también por la cantidad de veladuras que uso cuando, cuando estoy pintando. Cuando cuando, eh, digamos, mis dibujos en realidad lo que hago es ir, ir modelándolos como hacía un escultor en realidad. Eh, so, actually, what I do is I'm like a sculptor. I go um, changing it, modeling it towards um, what the canvas tells me. Um, your veladuras. Y luego le meto veladuras de tal forma que puedo conseguir mayor perspectiva y cromosidad en los lugares que me interesa. So then he creates glazes on top of what he's painted. So he's got his, his bubbles, he puts a glaze on it, he's got his figures, he puts a glaze on it, and he brings out what is important to him and which colors are important to him. Ah, es un proceso muy complicado de poner y quitar, limpiar, raspar, y entonces it's a voy complicated, <laughs> Sorry, it's a complicated process that he's adding things, he's removing things, he's um, scraping things, he's t covering up things, he's bringing out what's important for him. De tal forma que a veces aparecen las primeras capas que he puesto y otras veces, sin embargo, pues están totalmente excluidas del cuadro. So sometimes the first layer that he painted reappears and other times it's completely eliminated. Quizás eso es lo que le da un poco originalidad a la forma en la que pinto. Perhaps this is what gives it the originality of his work. Thank you, Pepe. And we have one question from you two. It is that uh, through the collaboration with artist Goyen, what kind of impression do you have of China? And would you consider going to China to create, uh, to create in the future? Con tu colaboración con Goyen, Sorry, you're gonna have to give me a oh, question. Oh no, no worries. That's a long question. No, of course. <laughs> um, so, through the, uh, like with the collaboration with Goyen, what's his impression of China, so, and would he consider? And would you consider and exhibiting there? And te consideras exponer ahí. Ah, exponer. Estoy dispuesto a exponer en todos los lugares que sea posible. No, no tengo problemas. Exhibit anywhere. He has no problem exhibiting mm. absolutely anywhere at all. Con respecto a la experiencia con Goyan en este sentido, pues me parece que to the experience exhibiting with Goyan, ha sido bastante gratificante. It was very gratifying. Eh, creo que al final conseguimos realmente comunicarnos con el arte. I think in the end we actually were able to communicate with art. Y un poco creo que vamos a, a seguir un poco colaborando, pero no todavía no hemos definido qué nuevo proyecto podríamos hacer. And I believe that we um, are going to continue to collaborate, but we haven't um, exactly decided how we're going to collaborate and what the el tema will será. Sí, el, el what, tema what the theme donde will be or how or where. So much. That actually answers another question from YouTube. So we'll go with the, uh, one other question here. So when did you know you wanted to become an artist? Cuando sabías que quieres ser artista. Uh. 
eh, saberlo, saberlo, bueno, en principio creo que nunca acabas siendo artista, puesto que es un aprendizaje continuo y cada so, vez... En realidad, quiero like decir que um, I'm, I'm no soy un artista y uno es nunca un artista porque es just a long, it's a lifelong learning. Soy un aprendiz. Pero sí, desde bastante joven mi intención era poder pintar e intentar vivir de la pintura y seguir pintando. Since I was quite young, I always wanted to and I always tried to live, um, live off of being an artist, of being a painter, and I've always painted. Pero desde, que edad, desde los 13 años más o menos decidí. More or less at the age of 13. Pero insisto, creo que es un proceso muy largo y que nunca se acaba de aprender el oficio. Para mí es un oficio. Thank you. Despite the technical difficulties, uh, thank you. I think it was uh, very insightful uh, getting all the questions answered from the artists. And thank yeah. you for all the uh, comments and questions that was given us through our live stream. We appreciate it very much. Um, so thank you for joining us so much tonight for our live stream. Don't forget, if you purchase an artwork on our app today, you'll be gifted to uh, a gift from each of the artists, as you said, uh, one of the silk scarves from Goyen and one of Pepe's artworks as well. Yeah. So as long as as well. And if you don't, the auction for all of these artworks will be ending on December 6th. So you can go download YKLM Auctions app and you can see all these artworks, the exhibition online as well, and you can bid for any artworks that you love. Yeah. Thank you so much. And you have a great night. Bye-bye.